FIFA 17 demo is now available on Origin Store, so I decided to take a look at it and how the game performs because as I remember the FIFA 16 did not perform that well but let's see, let's have some hopes up and let's see what we can achieve with FIFA 17 in our laptops. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is K9 and welcome to Notebook Gaming. All right, first off, um, we are here in desktop because FIFA 17, as I remember, does have a similar game setting uh, system. That is, you can select the systems outside um, outside uh, the game and uh, there is not much um, uh, things to you can select. So we are running at 768 full screen. Uh, first, I'm going to try rendering quality. MSAA options and um, yeah the frame rates I'm, I'm just gonna keep it uh, no limit on FPS and uh, let's let's try it everything on auto that so because that's the default settings so okay let's hit okay and let's play so they say this is a demo and it does not represent the final quality of the game so it can be much better it can be improved in the final version. I'm just gonna keep, just gonna like skip everything and get to the gameplay. We're here to describe the action for you. Nice to have you with us, Martin Tyler here and Alan Smith. Okay, one welcome to. The gameplay, now we can see we are already having really bad, terrible frame rates. When European Club football only just started, and they made such an imprint on pretty much everyone. But it looks good. So I set everything to auto and the screen resolution to 768p. All right. Um, so, uh, if you guys, um, recognize that I'm not playing the game, actually, um, I assigned a few teams, uh, two teams, and, uh, just watching the gameplay. Because all we wanted to see is the gameplay, how it performs, that's it, that's the bottom line, so, you know. Then again, I really suck at these, um, you know, these games. So... Oh my god, 62 frames? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Alright. And they're gonna start? Like... Alright. Now they're gonna start. Oh my god. I'm surprised. This is actually running the game at 768p with everything in auto and it still look really beautiful and you can get like 60 almost 60 frame rates the gameplay is absolutely smooth Hoping for victory here, but knowing that it might not just be a simple task. Getting into an advanced position, Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, they've been uh, thwarted here. That's a sign of better things to come. Now Anthony Martial. Sure. Little piece of interplay between the two. It can only get better, Alan. I'm absolutely <laughs> surprised by the frame rates that we are getting right now. It's always about 50 frames per second. Soon after the game started, frame rates hit 50 and it never came down. Nicely 
he played through ball. Saw the goal and went for it. And Benzema finished with great aplomb there. It's a fine goal from a fine centre forward. Well, let's take another look at the goal. You can see the characters are also looking really sharp and really good. So I, oh, I actually wanted to try on the medium settings, but I think the auto mode actually put the game in medium settings because it looks so good at 768p on the 15.6 inch display. I have to mention that. It plays super smooth. Morgan Schneiderlin. How frustrating is this for the other team trying to get the touch of the ball? Attacking now. Building steadily here, keeping possession. Good pass, getting it forward. Tries the through pass. Cross from Antonio Valencia. And it's behind for the goal kick. And this is going to be a change here for the team that is leading. During the frame, uh, during the replays, the frame rates go down to like 20s, but it doesn't really matter. It's a replay because what really matters is that you get the performance when you're playing the game. Cross. Karim Benzema came in with a challenge. Well, there's going to be a substitution now. Rooney on the attack, looking to play his teammate through. Crosses in. Well, the ball deserved perhaps a better response from his teammates in the middle. The defender got there first, though. Time ticking on. Just over 15 minutes to go. Tackle here. Luke Shaw. Moving the opposition around with their play, these two players. Now Mickey Tarian. Eric Bailly, the return ball. Now Bailly. Morgan Schneiderlin. And here comes an attack from Manchester United. Ashley Young trying to give some width to the play here. Well, they've been uh, thwarted here. That's a sign of better things to come. Five more minutes here. Carvajal. Still, as we are on the scoreline, but there's still time, even this late in the game, for a twist to the tail. The defenders worried now about Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, that was looking good, and now it's turned over. 
and all the potential of that attacking play is lost and they now got to get back and try and make sure they don't concede themselves Henrik Mkhitaryan Antonio Valencia chance for the cross and he's threaded the path through neatly that's a straightforward piece of work for the goalkeeper and that is the final whistle here Real Madrid have victory today so everybody that's FIFA 17 demo performance test it went really good and I think I never um, uh, I don't want to change the settings to medium or any any sort of a um, settings because in the normal in, in the automatic settings it works pretty good with above 60 frames per second so that is actually good for me and you can see the visuals and everything uh, about the graphics are really good in this game when we didn't actually select any preset because everything set to auto running at 760p it looked really good so everyone it is time to wrap up the video here and I really hope you guys enjoy the video and found it find it useful so if so leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more guys and again I just wanted to tell you guys I started a patreon account and you can go there and check um, what I have to offer there as well and if you guys want to support me I really appreciate uh, if you guys supporting me on patreon as well and yeah that will be it for this one and I'll see you guys on the next one until then everyone can I out